Hello, this is Fred from WordPressMembershipReviews.com. Just wanted to do a little video showing you seven main criteria that you want to take into consideration if you're trying to convert your existing WordPress site or a new WordPress site that you've built uh, into a membership site. So uh, let's go ahead and get straight into it. Now, one of the main things that uh, that you want to make sure that this your the, the plugin that you purchase has, as far as the base capability, is that it uh, has unlimited membership levels. You know, some of them are limited to uh, like four levels, and you can see that a lot with some of the freer ones. But you want to have more capabilities now. When if you have special trial levels, where you have uh, upsells in between certain levels, or this plus sections to various different levels, you want to be able to have the ability to have as many different levels as as possible. Uh, it also goes the same for membership types. Um, do they allow only for free membership? Do they allow for a paid? Is it one time pay? Is it a a monthly residual payments uh, structure? Uh, do they allow you to have trial offers, things of that nature? So you want to have various different membership types so that uh, you can have the maximum mobility within that particular plugin. In addition to that, do they offer RSS feed encryption? A lot of things that I've seen where there are existing um, uh, options out on the marketplace that can plug directly into WordPress, but however, it doesn't lock down the RSS feed. So if I just wanted to go ahead and subscribe to that RSS feed without having to pay for the content, I could still do that by just using any old regular RSS feed reader. So you want to make sure that it has RSS feed encryption, otherwise what's the point? You're giving that content away for free. Uh, you also want to make sure that it has some kind of way to tease the visitors with content. So in other words, what I mean by that is if there is some good content that you're putting on the blog that you're giving away a portion of it for free, you want it to be able to say if you want to read more that somebody can click on the link and if it's part of a the additional information that's part of one of your paid memberships, all the, you will get a message saying you know you have to subscribe to be able to get the full uh, content information. So that's what a content teaser is. You give part of it away for free and you if someone wants to read the entire article they'll have to actually pay for a membership to be able to get the rest of it and it also goes for content dripping content uh, sequential delivery a lot of memberships as you've seen uh, they the, one of the biggest flaws with a majority of the membership platforms out there is that if someone signs up to be a member they have instant access to everything that you may have built up over years and some people are a bit unscrupulous. They'll go through and download everything within a couple of days and refund, or just uh, or, or after a month, just stop paying because hell, they have they've gotten everything to begin with. There's nothing for them to keep paying for. Uh, so you want to make sure that there's sequential delivery where it op the plugin opens up different content based upon whatever schedule that you provide. So month one, they'll get only access to the things you sell for month one. Month two, they get the things that you sell for month two, so on and so forth. So sequential delivery is something very important, especially if there's some kind of a training situation where you don't want to have everybody, they want to have your uh, visitors get uh, everything all at one time. Uh, the next thing is that it works with a number of different payment gateways. A lot of the really basic ones work with PayPal out of the box, but if that's kind of the only option, it's very limited. Uh, you want to be able to have a a uh, platform that works with Authorize.net, WorldPay, a lot of different places. So you want to make sure that it has flexibility in the types of gateways that it can work with. Uh, the next thing is training and support. You know, what kind of documentation do they give you about how this plugin works? You know, what kind of support do they give you? Is it telephone access? Is it email access? Is it some kind of uh, uh, of, uh, of a support center? And uh, and how responsive those people are to your concerns. Um, and also, you know, with WordPress, as you know, there's new updates that come out almost uh, every month these days. Whether it's a brand new version, like uh, as as the time of the recording of this video. WordPress 2.7 had just come out and you know there's probably going to be another two or three uh, security updates and various patches that come out before the next main version of 2.8 comes out and you want to make sure that the people who are behind the backing of you, the plugin that you purchase are going to be around for the long haul and that they are actually keeping track and uh, making the necessary adjustments to their plugin so that it keeps working with WordPress as it evolves. And the last thing is you want to make sure that it has the, the, the particular company has a strong guarantee. You know, some things uh, don't always work the way that we want. Um, and you want to make sure that there is some kind of guarantee where 
30 days no money back I mean a uh, 30 days money back or 60 days money back guarantee just as long as they're standing behind their product uh, so that gives you a little bit of peace of mind if you install it it doesn't play nice with some of your existing plugins or it just doesn't work the way that you wanted it to work uh, so those are the main criteria those are seven basic criteria that you want to take into account uh, for more information on those seven criteria and some additional things as this is just kind of scratching the surface please stop by WordPress membership reviews dot com so you can get a better idea of the different things that you want to take a look at and you can also see a side-by-side -by -side comparison of some of the top WordPress membership plugins that are on the market today all right that's it for now I hope you found this informative and uh, stop on by and uh, let me know if you have any questions with anything thank you